Well, good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Much appreciate if you're stopping by tonight. Well, may not be tonight for you, but <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't resist a little ride out this evening. Uh, sun's out, lovely weather. Perfect. Gorgeous. Yeah, the main reason behind the video uh, that, uh, today is I'm going to discuss a few things that, believe it or not, that I don't like about the uh, the 2020 Street Triple RS. Um, there's not many, to be honest. You can't really grumble too much about this bike. It kind of like performs in uh, every area, every area really, to be honest. But there's just a couple of things, a couple of niggly little things, but. The main one is the brakes, the front brakes, and uh, I think there is a bit of an issue. It's been uh, brought up before about the brakes squeaking. I don't seem to do it so much now. I mean, the bike has done 1,100, 1,200 odd mile now, but just occasionally you do get that brake, that squeak from the brakes, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I know there was a recall regarding the pads. I'd like to think this had already had that done though, because it's not that old. But yeah, the, the brakes, the rear brakes are not, I've not had a problem with the rear brakes. Lovely evening tonight. A few people out and about. As the old lockdown eases. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's probably one of the main one of the main gripes. But there is, you know, there is others. Another one being the dash, uh, the the TFT dash. And I'll tell you, I, I absolutely I can't really fault it too much, other than the one thing, and it has been brought up before. And that's the, you know, we're on we're on nighttime mode at the moment. That's flicked on to night mode. I don't know why, because we're still we're still in day uh, daylight. When you go through like a shaded area, wooded areas, that tends to flick onto the night mode. But I prefer that 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 display. It's much more appealing that. But you can't see the rev counter. You can't see where the revs are. It's just a little bit annoying, especially when you're running the bike in. Not too worried at uh, sort of now, but I mean they've got several different displays on there. But all it seems to do is just make that smaller, which makes it even harder to read. Other than that, you know, that's quite nice. It's got all the information you need there. Let's take a right here. It's got all the information you need. Oh, lovely. Little armchair there in someone's garden. Might have to pull over and have a little sit down. <laughs> That would be funny though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Front wheel just hovers on this thing. That's one thing I love. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I love. Oh, so I couldn't resist a little ride out tonight. Why wouldn't you in this... Uh, you know, we've had a lot of rain actually. Had a lot of rain and uh, roads are sort of dried off a bit now, but another thing I will mention is uh, the gears. I mean the quick shifters but fairly butter butter smooth. But just occasionally you will it will get seems it seems to get stuck in a gear sometimes. Just decides it won't knock down into a gear or whatever get stuck in a gear but you can you obviously have to pull the clutch in and uh, do it in the old-fashioned way but whether that whether or, whether or not that's quick shifter related I don't know but it does get a little bit annoying every now and then
No problems finding neutral with this bike at all. No problems. Right. Ah. What a lovely evening. Let's turn her off a minute. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a lovely looking bike. Lovely looking bike. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just a little, just a little ride out to blow the dust off the bike <laughs> on this gorgeous evening. Yeah, it's just gone on the daytime mode there as well. Ooh. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you on the next video. Take care. See you soon.